Good morning. Joining me now is Rod Johnson from the Rainforest and Reef Cycling Club here in Port Douglas. We thought we'd grab Rod um, this morning and Rod's going to take us along the um, the cycle track or mountain bike track here that's happening uh, in Port Douglas. Um, yet to be built, under construction as we speak, but we've got Rod here on site now and Rod's going to take us for a bit of a walk and talk along and uh, describe the track and so on and so forth. So welcome Rod, thanks for joining us here at Newsport. Thank you very much Michael for having me. Um, as we start walking along now, um, if you wouldn't mind just um, take us through the course breakdown, what the course will look like or the track will look like as we, uh, when it's completed, um, the length and kind of the terrain that we can expect to um, ride along and so on and so forth and kind of what, what those who want to take part in this can expect once it's all completed. Okay, well, th th this has been a, a, it's really a mountain bike skills park, so it's a place for mountain bikers of all levels, um, from kids to intermediate and advanced and advanced riders to come down here in the middle of town and um, hone their skills and practice their mountain biking skills before they hit the serious trails up on the, up on the range, etc. So this is a place where we'll have um, about 800 meters of, um, of mountain bike track through, the, through, through this little area here. Where are we, Rod? Whereabouts in Douglas so, are we? So we're at, we're at the, um, the, the eastern end of the Port Douglas uh, sports precinct. So just behind the camera there would be the, um, the rugby club and the, and the, and the, uh, the, um, the football club, etc. So right where the Optus Tower is, is where the, is where the mountain bike park actually starts. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's take a walk through a little bit of what's been, what, some of the construction that's been done so far. And as you can see, it's a it's a it's a decent little um, single track. There's some berms forming here already, and it's in early stages of construction. But this is roughly the kind of terrain that um, that cyclists and the mountain bikers will be enjoying on the, on this track. And it's very much about coming down here, um, doing a couple of laps, honing your skills, getting really confident in the bike before you hit some of the big stuff, for example, at Smithfield Mountain Bike Park. So this will be a circular type track? It'll uh, be a loop in, track. In length? Right. In length? It'll be a, it'll be a circular track, but it'll, it'll, um, it'll be a loop track of about 800 meters altogether. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then on one section of it, we've got some technical skills where you can practice jump lines. We'll have three separate jump lines. Um, ranging from beginner to intermediate and advanced jump lines as well. Um, when's construction going to pr properly start and when we can we expect it to be kind of completely finished? Okay, well construction is, is underway at the moment. Um, there are machines on site and there are um, workers busy developing this, this track and um, we expect it to take about four to five weeks to complete. Mm -hmm. Um, so say a month and a half from now we can expect to for, for riders to be on the track? Yeah, let's, than... let's, let's safely say by the, end of, by the end of September. Weather weather dependent and so on and so forth. Weather dependent and we've had some rain the last few days but by the end of September we should have riders on, on, the, on the track. Yes. Wonderful. Do you foresee any kind of um, what are the main challenges in regards to getting this um, the track kind of built going forward? Any, any major challenges you see besides the weather? Well, I mean, just ongoing. We know we live in the tropics. We know how wet it gets here. And um, if you look at parts of the of the trail, you'll see it's very well designed to cope with the wet. Mm -hmm. um, if there is water, and we had quite a bit of rain last night, we noticed the trail that they built so far is dry. So these type of um, Come along, areas right? over here where you have where you have drainage that runs out every few meters, mm -hmm. you'll see drainage that runs out and really keeps the, keeps the track nice and dry. So that's been a massive challenge for us as part of the design process, mm -hmm. is to get that drainage and that water flow um, happening correctly. Sure, understood. Um, and kind of most importantly, what type of users will, will take advantage of a track like this? Who do you see kind of wanting to use the track? I mean, really, we, we see this, particularly this part of the trail, we see just about anyone on a, on a, on a mountain bike out here. So whether it be um, families with kids, even kids of, of five or six years old can get around the trail. There will be more difficult areas along, on the trail where the trail will split into two mm -hmm. and there'll be an easy run through for the kids and the, and the more novice riders. And then there'll be a more difficult A-line type run through for the more advanced uh, mm -hmm. riders and those that want to practice some other skills. Sounds great, let's continue. Um, obviously this, these type of um, facilities and things and so on and so forth, they don't come easily, they don't come free. How, how have we gotten to this point in terms of um, funding and, and so like, how has this actually been made possible? Who's behind all this? Well, this has been um, an, an, an effort of tireless effort over almost a decade mm -hmm. from um, members of the, of the um, Brain Forest and Reef 
Cycling Club. Mm -hmm. um, we've done a lot of fundraising, um, grant applications, and we've even had some some pretty significant private contributions from just from riders in the mm -hmm. area mm -hmm. um, to make this happen. But it has taken us in ten years, both in the design phase, negotiating with um, the council to provide the area for us, and um, and then of course the fundraising has been pretty much ongoing for a long time. I mean, from that point of view. 10 years of blood sweat and tears you must be internally extremely excited to see this come to fruition to see this finally become a reality for the the um members of the community and yourself as well look i am i'm i'm, I'm very excited and there, and there is um it's not only me there's there's a group before me this the the design and the and the brainchild around this started before i even came to town so um it's really been an, an effort from a lot of people over over a decade to get mm -hmm. this to get this thing mm -hmm. happening and um, we're at the pointy end of it now. I'm happy to be here, but there's a lot of people behind me who have worked on this very hard. Sure, understood. Yeah. And um, I guess the best thing about this is, is that, um, you know, 20 years time from now, you know, this will be here. This will be a legacy for the next generation of, of, of riders and cyclists and, you know, enthusiasts who just want to go on a bike, you know. Yeah, absolutely. And and we, we're hoping this will be just phase one of it. We're hoping it'll be popular. Um, people will come down here, kids will ride it. The the youngsters that you see on their back wheels riding through town now, we're hoping that they'll come down here and mm -hmm. practice their skills mm -hmm. here now that they've got a place to do so. Mm -hmm. And um, we only see this place growing. So if this becomes popular, we'll be extending it. We'll be adding more, more features to it over time, um, more difficult features mm -hmm. as people grow in their, in their skills. And hopefully this will become a, better, a, a bigger facility than, than, than it is. Right Wonderful. Now. Right, um, thanks for chatting with Newsport and best of luck to um, get this built and hopefully in a month's time we come back here and it's uh, all green lights. Absolutely, thanks, thanks, for, thanks for having us and um, I really, really appreciate um, you promoting this uh, site for us as well. That's a pleasure. Thanks, Rod. Thank, Thank you. you.